So now it's time to figure out how we will calculate A and B for our simple linear regression by hand. Remember that the general form of a regression equation is y hat equals a plus bx. And here's our strategy. We're going to calculate b first. Then we're going to plug in b to our general regression equation and use that to calculate or back solve for a. But we're still going to need values for x and y when we back solve, and so we're going to use the mean of x and y to plug into that formula. Now the formulas for b and a are at the bottom of the page. Let's look at those in a little more detail. Here is how we would calculate using these data. Now notice that we have an x squared column and an xy column. If we had already used correlation by hand, we would have an x squared, y squared, and xy column already existing. So had we run a correlation first, we could simply use the same data that we had already used as we're now calculating b and then later on a. So we have the sum of x, the sum of y, the sum of x squared, the sum of x times y, and we have the means for x and y. The mean for x is 5, and the mean for y is 6. What we would then do is start with our b equation, plug in the values that we calculated using Excel, and then run the numbers. And what we would get is a B value of 1.6. I want you to see how this is done, but you don't have to do it. If you'd like to, that would be great. Just take the numbers I've already plugged in, use your calculator, make sure you know how they would be run, make sure you come up with a 1.6, but we're not going to be doing these kinds of calculations by hand. However, I do want you to know how they would be calculated and to have some appreciation for our statistical forefathers who really did these and massive other calculations by hand. Once we have our B value, we can plug that into the equation and we can solve for A. We need the mean of Y, the mean of X, and the B value that we just calculated. It's 1.6. We're going to back solve for A, so that would be the mean of Y, minus b times the mean of x, or 6 minus 1.6, the b value, times 5, the mean of x. So 1.6 times 5 is 8, 6 minus 8, negative 2. So we have now an a value of negative 2. Since we have the a and the b value, we're ready to plug those into our general equation and create a specific regression equation for these data. So once again, y hat equals a plus bx. We've calculated an a of negative 2 and a b of 1.6. Plug them into the equation, and we now have, for our data, y hat equals negative 2 plus 1.6 times x. Now we can make some predictions. Using the regression formula that we've created for our data, I can give you an x value and ask you to plug it in and predict a y value. So I ask you, what y value would you predict for a person who scored a 4 on the x? And what you would do is take your regression equation, plug in a 4 for x, and this would be 1.6 times 4 is 6.4 plus negative 2. 4.4. So you would tell me that you predict that a person who scores a 4 would have an y value of 4.4. And that's your best estimate, your best guess. What I would like for you to do now is to practice with these data. I would like you to run two equations, first of all plugging in the value of 5, and then plugging in the value of x equals 7. So pause the recording, run those two equations, and let's make sure that you get them correct. All right, welcome back. The predicted value for y, if x equals 5, should be a y of 6. And the predicted value, if x equals 7, should be a y hat of 9.2. So to summarize, we're not going to be calculating a and B by hand. We're going to use SPSS to do that calculation for us, 
but we will be plugging in the A and B that's calculated in SPSS into this regression equation and making predictions using those values. So you do need to understand how this part of the prediction works.